Cargo pants are of course one of the big fashion trends for spring summer 2023. But if you're wondering how to style them this season and how versatile they really can be, this video should help. Now, some of you might have seen my Insta Live I did the other week where I shared six different outfit ideas with one pair of cargo pants. Well, today I've gone a step further and managed to fairly comfortably create 14 different outfit ideas with just one pair of cargo pants. So hopefully lots of outfit inspiration for you today to get started with this trend. So let's dive straight in and show you first the cargo pants that I decided to go for. So the nice thing about this particular pair of cargo pants and the reason that I didn't mind investing in them so to speak is the fact that when the cargo trend has been and gone this still remains just a beautiful pair of trousers I can't imagine in say five years time looking at this pair of trousers and thinking Oh no, but they were so 2023. So even though these are particularly on trend right now, they are also just a beautiful pair of tailored trousers that have got a great shape and really nice quality. So there's absolutely no reason why I wouldn't be wearing them in 10 years time even. So let me show you outfit idea number one. Styling them very simply to begin with, just with a tank top. And then on my feet, I've added those lovely mules that are new in my wardrobe. The shape of this particular pair of cargo pants, because it nips in so nicely at the waistband they do look particularly nice with a tank top or at least something pretty fitted on your top half I think that creates a really nice balance with the wide leg at the hem now if I needed a jacket I would just finish perhaps with a plain black blazer I haven't gone with my super oversized one for this particular look because there's a lot of fabric going on with the trousers I thought it might feel a little bit too swamped if I went oversized with my blazer as well so keeping it relatively slimline on my top half to let the trouser part do most of the talking for me Outfit idea number two. So my second way to style cargo pants would of course be with stripes. In fact, it's a good little test for me actually. If an item I want to invest in doesn't look very nice with stripes, it's probably not worth me investing in it because I think I am officially a stripe collector. I've then finished this outfit idea with my lovely camel trench coat. I just thought the tone of that one really complemented against the khaki and then the blue on my stripes really beautifully. But in actual fact, looking at that image I think it would work equally well if I'd gone with my navy trench coat so whatever trench you have got in your wardrobe I think that's absolutely a coat that will work really nicely with cargo pants this season or any season actually don't worry, I haven't forgot our great British weather. So outfit three is to tick a box for those colder days that we get throughout spring summer. This time I've paired it with one of my favorite knits. This one came from Suzanne. It's actually called the Gary Knit. I'm sure why they called it Gary. But it is also available in a neon pink if you fancy a pop of color. I just like this one particularly because it's quite a chunky cotton knit. I do really enjoy reaching for cotton knits, particularly throughout spring summer. And unlike lots of my other knitwear I've got in my wardrobe, I don't tend to pack this one away as I reach for it even on a summer's evening. This time with the cargo pants, I have done a little bit of a turn up on the hem because I wanted to wear those round toe ankle boots with it. I find particularly with wide leg trousers, it's quite helpful to do a bit of a turn up. I think I've turned them up about three times actually with this just to get to the skinniest part of your ankle that then really helps elongate your shape. I've added a belt again in this look to really draw the eye to that area. And I think if you've got something quite big on the top, quite big on the bottom, don't forget about your waist and make sure you've got a point of focus. Onto outfit four, and in this look, I've paired it with a very classic white shirt. Now, this particular shirt is very crisp. It's a poplin, actually, but it's not too long, and I think that really helps, particularly when you want to cinch it in at the waist and tie it in a knot. If they're too long, there's just masses of fabric, and I think that wouldn't contrast so brilliantly against the cargo pants. So keeping it pretty minimal on my top half and just tying that shirt in a knot, and I've topped and tailed that color on my feet with my classic white trainers. This particular pair of trainers have got a bit of a wedge on them, which is actually helping to stop the trousers dragging on the floor. Actually, that's a handy tip with trousers like this that are very much on the long side. And don't get me wrong, I like my trousers to be long. I personally don't mind if they get a little bit scuffed because I really love that puddled look around the ankle. However, if it does annoy you and you don't want to wreck your pair of trousers, wearing something quite chunky on your feet, like a chunky pair of trainers, for instance, does tend to catch the hem, so it will stop it reaching the floor. 
I do think a straw hat can just really polish an entire outfit and just finish it off completely. And this particular one was super affordable as well. So I don't think you need to spend a lot of money. I think it's about having the right accessory to finish off a look. So possibly a straw hat or maybe a nice straw bag, whichever you prefer really. But just having that little element of something quite natural in the mix, I think is a really nice contrast. And I think a lot of people would assume that cargo pants are quite casual and that's certainly like a lot of the images and inspiration I've seen over Instagram so far. So in this next outfit idea, I really wanted to illustrate just how versatile and elevated you could make your cargo pants if you wished. And a really good test to see if you've spent your pennies wisely and it's a good investment is to try that piece on with one of your favorite tops. So in this case, I've gone with my silk Chloe blouse. I wear this one on repeat. So a little bit like the stripes if it wasn't going to work with this shirt it would have probably made me think twice whether I should keep the trousers happily I think it works really nicely and then paired with those camel heels on my feet and a lovely structured handbag to match I think the overall combination looks so much more polished and elevated and perhaps smart enough to be something you could wear to the office if you wished or perhaps even a nice dinner that you're going for in the evening so this will definitely be a look that I plan on wearing for dinner when David takes me out <laughs> And outfit six is just going that step further and really making it office appropriate. I decided to go for my camel blazer because I do like that mixture of tones, but in all honesty, I think a navy blazer, a black blazer, perhaps a khaki one, if it was different enough in tone, they would all work brilliantly. So whatever you have in your wardrobe, I definitely think it's worth having a little try on in front of the mirror. And I'm sure there's one that you've got that would work just as nice. I must have got carried away with my favorite shirt and I've got a third look with that particular idea but this time I wanted to share just how switching out your shoes can really change the whole look so although it still feels quite elevated with that silk embroidered blouse on my top half by adding my trainers into the mix it just brings it a bit more into everyday chic sometimes as we all know it's just nice to reach for your trainers so good to know you can do a bit of a high low mix and match with those two so on to outfit eight, and all those stripes again, this time a little bit more relaxed than the look I showed you before. So this is one of my favorite stripe jumpers. It's made from a cotton knit. Obviously the base is navy, and then you've got the white stripe running through it. It's just a really great shape, to be honest. It's very relaxed, very everyday She goes really nicely with jeans, as well as the cargo pants, as it happens. Now I did try this look out with navy loafers on my feet, and although I love my loafers and they're super comfy, they looked a little bit too flat, too skinny, there wasn't enough bulk there <laughs> from doing that. So I think it really needed to have that chunky trainer which I've added on my feet. And of course they work really nicely too because you're picking out that white from my top portion. On to outfit nine and a bit of a favorite color combination I would definitely be doing this spring summer is to add in sprinkles of camel and tan with my cargo pants. There's just something about that color combination that makes me feel like spring has finally arrived and after what feels like the longest winter in the world, I am very happy about it. So totally inappropriately for today, at least, as it's throwing it down with rain, I've got those strappy tan sandals on my feet. Obviously, you could switch that out for a pair of trainers or perhaps some nice ankle boots. That would work really nicely. But I'm going for the optimistic route of flat tan sandals. I've gone with my chic for less tan belt at my waistband to really draw the eye to that area. I got that one a few years ago now, I think, from from H&M for about $12.99, I think, and it is real leather. It's looking a little bit worn now, so I do need to replace it. And then handbag-wise, because it was a bit of a low-key, bohemian, kind of relaxed outfit idea, I went with my bucket bag. But then tone-wise, it works really nicely with the camel on my top, the khaki on my bottom, and then obviously the tan on my waistband. So outfit idea at number 9.5 is a little bit of an extension of the tan and camel look from before, but this time just to share how nicely the cargo pants look with a denim jacket. Now granted, this is quite a tailored denim jacket. It's not your typical slouchy one. And actually I think it's that that makes it work so nicely with this pair of trousers. You could go with something a bit more slouchy and oversized, but personally I think I like this look so much because the jacket is quite tailored, matching that nice tailoring on the pair of trousers. 
Now, hopefully a surprising outfit idea is how nicely cargo pants can actually work for the evening as well. When I've talked about cargo pants before, I had quite a few comments of people saying, oh, I don't know if I'd get my wear out of them, would they really be versatile in my wardrobe? Absolutely, yes, they would. I mean, hopefully I've showed I would wear them in the daytime, I'd wear them on holiday, I'd wear them for the office, I'd wear them for meetings, and I would very much be wearing them for going out for dinner. So this is me pairing them with one of my favorite out-out tops. That one's very old now, probably vintage, that David very kindly bought me from Prada. And on my feet, I've gone with my insanely high heels that I got from Gucci. I actually think having an open toe sandal of some sort, even if it's a heel or a low heel, works really nicely. It's nice to see a little bit of skin coming out from the bottom of the hem. And then with that look, I've just finished with a very simple but well-loved and well-used clutch bag that I got from a brand called Paris 64. Outfit 11 is very similar to one of the other looks that I've shared before, just pairing the cargo pants with a classic white shirt on my top half. But again, just by switching out that pair of shoes, so for this time I've taken off my trainers and I've added some black wedge sandals instead, I think it really gives a bit more of a holiday vibe to the whole outfit idea. Those sandals were incredibly affordable actually, I think they were under £20, maybe even under £15, I'll have to double check and I'll add them in the description box below. But I love the shape. I think they're very on trend. They work with this pair of trousers as much as they do with jeans and dresses. And with this particular outfit idea, I think it just adds a touch of minimal chic, a bit of effortless vibe about it, which I really like. On to outfit 12 now, and I think this is one of my favorite outfit ideas that I've made in this whole video, but do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite. I think it's just about the simplicity of this one, which I really, really love. Perhaps it's about sticking to that three color rule. So obviously I've got my white tank on, the blazer is blue, and contrasting against the khaki of the trousers. Topping and tailing that white as well with the classic white trainers on my feet. Those trainers, coincidentally, are coming in very handy so far this season. I seem to be wearing them all the time with loads of outfit ideas. But yes, this very simple rule of three with the colors is my ideal kind of look. I just feel very laid back, elevated, polished, yeah, it looks modern at the same time. There's obviously a certain element of effortlessness about it. I think you've got a culmination of all my favorite things there in one outfit idea, which is probably why I love it so much. Another outfit idea I will definitely be doing as we get into the warmer weather, shall we say, of spring and then further into summer would be adding my lovely linen waistcoat on my top half. I've mentioned this one before, it came from that lovely brand in Australia, but I do like the contrast of one, the linen fabric against the cotton of the trousers, but two, I think the crispness of the white against the dark on my bottom half really makes a nice contrast. Now again, practicality sometimes has to come into it, so I relented and thought, well let's just see what it looks like with a blazer and actually I do really like that look too. I decided to keep with that white linen theme and I went with my white linen blazer. Now this isn't actually a perfect match to my waistcoat. Unfortunately and strangely actually they don't do a matching blazer to the waistcoat and skirt that I bought. So this is an old blazer that I bought from Massimo Dutti but I shall add in the description box below a few alternatives that I've seen across the high street recently. Finishing with that beautiful straw and leather tote bag just makes it feel so much more summery and getting me very excited for sunnier days ahead. And last but by no means least in this 14 ways, but probably more like 16 ways to wear cargo pants for this spring summer 2023. I'm going back to the original look of wearing them with a simple tank top. And I really wanted to share just quickly how nice they actually look with my Samba trainers. I know lots of you are fans of these trainers and they're doing the rounds, that's for sure, over on Instagram. But it's nice to see that lengthwise with this pair of trousers, I can just about get away with wearing them with these trainers. I also find these trainers particularly handy because they're white, they've got a tiny bit of grey on them and they've got black. So if you're wanting to pick out an element of one of those tones, it gives you a few different options of colours to pair on your top half. In that outfit idea, I've also gone back to doing a little bit of a turn up. I do like that look when you're wearing trainers like this, where you, again, you see a little bit of skin around your ankle. It just makes you feel a bit more summery, but it also really helps to elongate your shape as well. So it's nice to see that they will turn up pretty easily. 
So there we go, 14 or possibly 16, I can't really remember, outfit ideas with just one pair of beautiful cargo pants. Hopefully proving that they are far more versatile than you would probably first think. If you like this video and the outfit ideas, I would be very grateful for a thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I actually did that. <laughs> and if you're not already subscribed, I would be very grateful for that too. Do let me know all your favorite outfit ideas in the comments section below. I will be there as this goes live for a bit of a chit chat. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. See you on Sunday, everyone. Take care.